Hi. I just wanted to wake you up to the possibilities of being encouraged today. How can you be encouraged? Well, it's as simple as Jesus spoke a few words, and he know the words that bring life. But kind of like two things had to happen that the seed had to fall into the earth. That would be the word getting through the ears, past the prejudice, and into the heart. And there in the heart, it could produce fruit, but there was still something else that had to happen. And that was, wait a while. Be patient. But also, water it. Let it have some sunshine. But the point of the story for Jesus is where that seed landed. Does it land in the highly trodden fields of people's opinions? Does it just get choked out by life itself and all its cares? When Jesus said, by his life and prophecy of him, I love you, I'm going to die for you. You're the most important thing to me. Where's that land? How long does it stay? What sort of fruit does it provide? Does it produce love, the very love he gave you? He said, no greater love has someone than to lay down their life for their friends. Again, he decides to tell us who friends are. Yeah, even your enemies. So God's goal is to reproduce his heart in you and, and let it come forth in action. Well, who can do that? God can do that. How can you stop it? That's all you can do is stop it. If there isn't fruit, fruit of love coming out of you, you're working hard to make sure God's love hasn't penetrated you and stayed with you and remained with you long enough to produce love. Be encouraged. You can produce love by simply letting love impregnate you with his very nature.